something. Oh, what'd you buy me? Well, we're gonna have to open it up here and see. So you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, then uh, welcome to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And in this video, I bought Diana paddleboard. So we're gonna unbox it and show you what we've got. And I guess talk about paddleboards. Okay. All right. So it's pretty well packaged up. I'm always kind of leery. You got something that's inflatable and you're opening it up with a knife, but being careful here. So, this is a complete paddleboard kit. You know what that says? No, I don't. It says breakdown cover. See, it says it on the back in English. Nope. So, this is the paddleboard. It's, it's in a backpack and oh here's I guess this is just the backpack. It doesn't go yeah, this the is backpack the backpack that you start. Right. Store it in. It has wheels on it so you can move it around. It's got storage pockets on it here where you can put all your accessories and such. I think there's yeah, there's a pocket on the side. We'll get to this. These are the fins. This is the leash. And we'll talk about that. It comes with a cell phone case. Oh, okay. So this is important to have because you, you really don't want to go out kayaking without a cell phone because what if you drifted out and you couldn't get back you want to be able to call somebody that's true that won't happen to me though okay i believe this is a pump yeah it came with its own pump yep yes. it's electric isn't it well this, well this comes with a hand pump oh a hand pump here and we're, we'll put all this together. Got a patch kit, you know, in case it ever, or repair kit, I should say. Um, and here there's ma patch material. There's, this is to take out the valves. Spare clip for the uh, pins. Two spare clips for the pins. That's good they have. Paddle. Yeah. Yeah. This is like I said. This is complete with everything. I suppose I should mention who makes all those, <laughs> but they're not sponsored. We we asked them to uh, sponsor our video. But they declined. But we want the paddleboard anyways. Right. So we paid our money for this. It's you know so we're not endorsed by them or any way, but it is what we decided was a good make. So here's half the paddle. And then it's bigger than the other the paddle for the other one. It could be. The other our other around. Uh, yeah, this is actually our second paddle board by this company. Um, we have a larger one, which we will show you um, sometime, maybe Wait. later in this video. Didn't you do a video about that one? No, we haven't really. So, there's part of the paddle. There's the other section.
then you can make it longer if you want to stand up. Yeah. Shorter if you want to sit down. Yeah, I think the thought is, this is like the height you want to do for when you're standing up. It's like an arm's length above your head because you, when you're standing on the paddle board, you want this to be about here at chest height, but this has to be down in the water. So, like if you put your arm up, you'd want it roughly about that height. parts to this paddle board. Another thin paddle board itself. I'll lift this up you move the box out of the way. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit bigger than this table, I'm sure. It's supposed to be what? Yeah, so this is a this is a ten foot paddle board. It's made by a company called Bluefin, and they're out of England. And this is their carbon model of paddle board. And what you a couple of nice things about this paddle board that I really like. One, there's two air chambers. So there's an outer air chamber around the outside and then a center air chamber. And that makes this paddle board a little safer so that if something ever happened, the whole board won't go lose all its air. You have one chamber or the other will probably still have air, which will get you back to shore. There are attachments here to put a seat on it, which I didn't see. Um, interesting. This is supposed to be a complete kit that has a, a uh, kayaking seat uh, included, but I don't see that stuff. So it may be worth contacting them to find out what's, yeah. what's going on. Because that's really going to be part of the way you're going to use it. Though you can always use one of the seats in your other paddle board. Right. And then clip it on here. Right. Oh, yeah. Clip it on right here. You've got bungee tie downs to put things on it. Um, up here, you've got actually mounts that you can put a camera on the uh, paddle board. So you can put a GoPro on here and, and film it. Same thing, and you got spots here in the back to do the same. Oh, actually, this is the front. And spot up here in the front. So all these locations have spots you can um, attach a camera to it. It says Cruise Carbon, which is nice about this is that the edges are has a carbon fiber insert to it that stiffens it up and makes it much more stable for kayaking. Is it the same color as our other one? Similar. Yeah, a nice uh, aquamarine blue and a white and black and yeah. some gray. Okay. Now I'm going to attach the pump the outer section first. There. And so you can see there's two chambers on this so you can select like you put it on one it's high volume then it's medium pressure and then it's high pressure so I think you would probably want to start with the high volume first, then kind of work the way to the settings from one, two, to three.
an electric pump. Oh. Which you would think would be a lot easier. But we're we'll show that later. Because I have to attach it. Oh, okay. We have two of these to pump up, which we do now. Yeah, and the other one is bigger. Right. So, this is it. So it's got a good carrying handles on it. It's not that heavy. You might be able to pick it up. Oh, good. Oh. Well, yeah. So this is your leash. Right here. And what you want to do with this is attach it to the back. So you can attach it to this, either this handle, or you can loop it right here, like this. Oops. I don't know if you can see that or so just this way. So the handle, the leash is attached to this loop in the back, and I, it came with a little rope loop that I hooked into the Velcro. Attaches like that. And then you would just Velcro this to yourself someplace. Probably your, your ankle? Yeah, typically your ankle, especially if you're standing. Mm -hmm. But you could put it on your arm wherever you want it. Arm would be a little bit possibly inconvenient if you're paddling. But the idea is if you fall off of this, you do not want this to go away from you. Right, you don't want to lose the paddleboard. Right, and so you have this to kind of keep you attached. Mm -hmm. like, like we said, any ankle is probably the best way. A couple other things that are nice about this board, it has a really nice deck. This deck material is, you know, fairly thick. Um, padding gives you so, so it's comfortable. But you could also, you know, your dogs could ride on this. So, right, if we had a dog that would ride on it. Right, so if Monty or Zephyr did want to ride on this with us, they possibly could, which is, you know, which would be good. You've got strap down places in the back and the front so you can carry a cooler with you. Um, there's a raised section on the back here and that's for when you're standing and you want to turn you actually would want to step back and put a foot on this. And this also will tell you where the end of your board is and that allows you to kind of pick the front of your board up and allows it to turn a little bit better. Um, we'll roll it over. Oh, The strap, we were talking about that, Diane found it. So the strap can go on here like this and then it will allow you to throw this up on your shoulder and make it a little easier to carry it if you wanted to. You could even, if that's too low, you could even put it down here like this and extend it so that it's up over your arm you know, to help you carry it. Give you another way to Especially for someone like you with your size, mm -hmm. this might be the way you could carry this by yourself a lot easier. Right. It's not so much trying to drag it by here, but by the strap. I think the weight on this is about 35 pounds. Oh, okay. So it's not extremely light, but it's not really heavy either. Right. So let's flip it over and we'll talk about the fins. Very 
paddleboard has a different fin type design. So this one has a main fin. And what these do is it allows you to get the paddleboard to track straighter for you. So you, I don't know if you saw it, but there's a little square metal nut that you put in the slot like that. And then you drop this the thing in there. <laughs> So you, there's a little screw here, and the way this works is you, you hook the back half into the slot, and then you line up that nut I put in there. To the hole on the fin, like this, there we go, and then you lock in the front half of the fin with the screw. That holds fin in place. It does give you a slight amount of adjustability so you can move this a little bit forward if you want. These fins are a little easier and that they slot in like this and close down. So this one's so camera is a little bit, this one's a little closer to the camera. You slot in. There's a piece right here that goes into this hole in the slot. Drop it down and then just lock it in like that. Now the these front two fins here help the kayak. Okay, I keep on the kayak. Help the paddleboard to go straight. And this one helps you turn because this gives you a pivot point to turn on. Depending on what your type of paddling you do, you may not want to always use these. Um, it's optional. You may t you can take these off and not use them if you wanted to. I haven't stood up yet on the paddle board, so primarily I will be sitting for a while until I get enough nerve to try to stand up. So this is the kayak seat that we the paddle board seat. Yeah, well, it's a, it makes it to a kayak. That's what. I'm... Huh? It, this is the, this is the seat that turns this into a kayak. Oh, okay. And I believe it attaches to this this paddle board. The same way that it attached to the other one. Right. Something like this. Not very sturdy. Once you sit in it, though, it's fine. Right. Right. And it may be, you know, this is all adjusted for our other paddle board. It, it maybe it needs to be, oh, I got one thing, I got these wrong. That helps. This one's the rear. This one's the front. Yeah, I think if... Oh, that's better. Yeah, if we were to adjust this differently. I mean, I, I'm gonna put it on the fungies for the moment, but here, now you get the idea. Spin this around so you can see it. So this is a seat set up like this. Um, we'd have to readjust all these a little bit to make it fit right, because I think these here should go out to these D-rings here mm -hmm. to get it right, but. That's fine. Yeah. So we'll, you know, still contact the company and have them, you know, send the seat back to go to us. Right. We will jump forward a few weeks to when we're down at the lake where we will put this in the water and test it out. And Diane will get to try it for the first time. Both of us will get to try it for the first time. And we will show you our other paddle board at that point, too. Well, we made it to the beach and we're going to test out Diane's new paddle board. If you, you probably saw the first part of this video where we talked about it, but this is the Bluefin uh, Cruise Carbon 10-8. And I'm going to be on Bluefin 15 Tandem, but I'm going to be solo on it. And we'll talk more about the boards once we uh, get out on the water and have some fun. So let's get going. 
guess. Paddle on one side more than the other to steer. So, give me your review. It's fun. Um, yeah, it's very stable and uh, easy to paddle. So, yeah, it was a good choice. I haven't tried to stand up. Not sure I will, but this year, maybe next season. Well, still a little weak on my feet. I don't overdo it. So, yeah, but this is fun. It's good arm exercise. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's easier than carrying the kayak around. That's true. I mean, there's places where you'd rather have the kayak, but this is easy to do. Right. Right. So, yeah, this is easy to do. A little bit involved with the setup, but, you know, everything is. Every type of water sports. Real. Oh. Well, there you go. Diane's unbiased opinion on what she thinks of the paddleboard. You would give it... Uh, Five stars? Five stars. Five stars? Yeah, it's nice and comfortable. You, it's, you know, it's solid. You don't have to worry about it, you know, getting a hole or a leak or anything in it. So, yeah, it's very, very comfortable. And we didn't film it, but we have an electric pump to pump them up, which makes it much easier. Right. Especially when you have two of them. Yeah, that would be quite a bit of work to pump up two of them. Yeah. My thoughts are, I mean, when you pump these up to 12 pounds, they're rock solid. I mean, there's no give to them. They don't feel like an inflatable board. They feel like a hard board. Yeah, they do. It does, yes. Really. Yeah, and I think the carbon on the side helps with that. Mm -hmm. um, you make them more rigid, and it protects them more, besides from getting scratched or damaged. And then I like that, that there's two chambers for air, so when you pump pump up if he did get an issue with it most likely it would be the outside and that area would uh, deflate but the center would still hold air and it would hold you so it's a good safety thing right yeah you feel safe on them. yeah yeah like I said there's a little bit of a breeze in fact I think we're floating we floating into shore no, I don't think we're actually going to shore. I think we're going along parallel to shore. Oh, okay. shore. Which looks, on the camera, looks like it's far away. but it's, it's a little bit, but it's not. It's maybe two football fields. This camera, just the lens on it makes it look like it's a long ways away. Yeah, not too far away. Believe me, Diane would not be out too far if she couldn't see shore. Right. I don't have too many phobias, but that's one thing I am afraid of. That's why I would never really take a cruise. I like to see shore, land, you know. Well, if you take a cruise, just don't look out the window. I guess. <laughs> we should probably paddle in a little bit. I think the breeze is blowing us out. Yeah, Yeah, we caught an offshore wind out there and it was taking us out quite a bit, so we paddled back in. The paddle in was a lot longer than the paddle out.
Did you get all that? <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little trickier than that one. This one's a little trickier than that one. It is zero. Well, we're back from the lake, and we're back a couple weeks to where we are showing you everything. And we're no. going to deflate the paddleboard. Deflate the paddleboard. So I'm, I'm pulling up these valves here, these covers to the valves, and you can actually push this in. And there's a point where you can push it in and it'll lock in. And allow the board to deflate. Now you have a couple options here. I actually noticed that this pump has a deflate option on it. So we're actually going to do that. Oh, okay. Which is better than, I think our other pump doesn't have this option that I've noticed. So we're going to go here. Then we're going to attach. You can see it's losing air. But it makes it much easier if you can get all the air out of it before you put it in the backpack. So then you want to start folding it. And there's probably going to be points where it was folded initially that you want to kind of follow. You want to try to keep it pretty taunt size wise so that it will fit into the case. The case. idea with these bags are you know obviously for traveling this is going to take up a lot less room than a kayak which is why we are investing in them but also you actually if you weren't like us in RV travel you could very easily carry this on an airplane and just you know put it into luggage right check it Some nice pockets in it. Right. This is open this up and then you can put your accessories in here. The repair kit. The paddles are gonna slip right inside here. Like such outside the paddle board. Here's the pump all disassembled and it can go in this little storage bag. Like so. You can take the inflating tube, slip that right in there too. Just like that, close it up. I believe this can slip in. Maybe, uh, Oh, maybe, not. maybe not in there, but actually yeah. depends. Yeah, Just can't does. zip it all the way up, or it can go in with the, the paddleboard. Or you can carry it separately. Right. <laughs> yeah. This is everything, all set up in the in a carrying case. It has wheels, like we mentioned, on the back to help move along. There's also straps on here and, and uh, pockets. Yeah. To carry. Whatever you want to carry. Yep. Yeah. You know, here's pockets. This is probably where you'd want to. You might want to carry the paddles right here on the side and just strap it in. Mm -hmm. Nice and tight. Um, there's one on each side, so maybe you can put the pump on the other side. Right. There is a handle here that you can carry it with. It's basically the same handle as on the kayak or on the paddleboard itself. So. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Well, a lot of storage on the outside. Yeah, very very nice setup. This make it really nice to 
carry this in the back of the truck so we have it when we want to go. Mm -hmm. um, and we did, why we had the brake where the camera overheated, we did take a minute and check the Bluefin website and this kit does not come with the kayak seat as part of the package. It has to be purchased extra for, uh, I think it was $50. Mm -hmm. But we already have that from our, from our other, other paddle, kayak paddleboard. paddleboard, yes. Right. So we're not going to probably purchase it. We, we've got what we need here to do what we want to do. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if they did, what should they do? Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Yeah, and leave us a comment if you've got a paddleboard, if you go paddleboarding when you travel around the country with your uh, Airstream or travel trailer, whatever you have. We'd right. love to hear from you. See We'd be interested in uh, probably lakes or streams or whatever you found, not the ocean. But, uh, <laughs> for her, maybe for me, even not for her. Maybe for Randy, but even then that's a little questionable. But uh, yeah, if you find any lakes or streams or places you like to go paddleboarding, like let us know. Places you like to go paddleboard, let us know. Yes. All right. Well, until the next time, guys. We'll see you down the road. Take care. Thank you.